Hello everybody! Welcome to another explanation video by Surge Media. Today we're going to go over how to install and play Among Us mods. Those mods will include The Other Rolls, Town of Us, and Town of Polis, aka polis.gg. Keep in mind this is an explanation video only for the Steam version. This should be relatively same for the Epic Games version or other versions, but I have Among Us the Steam version, so if you have the Steam version, then this will be a ver completely exactly what you need. If you don't have the Steam version, then I suppose this video will be a little bit less useful to you, but should still be useful nonetheless. Alright, for starters, you need Among Us. Pretty straightforward you're going to need to access your file location. Um, the easy way you can do that is by right-clicking, going to Manage, and selecting Browse Local Files. Once you do that, you should have this list of files available inside of this specific um, path, which is Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps Common Among Us. You might want to keep this one in mind because you're going to need to access this for whatever the mods are. Now, you're going to want to create a backup of these somewhere. For me, for example, I have them in uh, Documents Backup Among Us Clean Among Us. Um, this is where I'm going to be storing my backup files, and it's basically like making a duplicate version of the game. What's important for you to notice is that we will have seven files by default. It's important that after having installed Among Us, that these are the files that you have by default in this folder. Now the question you may be asking is, okay, sure, I have Among Us, how do I get Town of Us? Well, that is super simple. All you need to do is Google, or Bing, as I just so happen to be using, GitHub Town of Us. And you're going to want to go to this very first one, which is github.com slash polisgg Town of Us. Then you're going to want to scroll down until you get to the downloads. Currently, the latest version, which I believe will be the final version because the developers of the Town of Us mod say that they're going to no longer be supporting it. So whenever the next update comes out, this video will be basically useless. But if there are other Among Us mods, then, you know, same applies, right? Basically, all you need to do is click this download link for whatever the most recent version is, which presumably will be version 2.2.1. In this specific example, I already have it downloaded, which is why it gives me the colon one. And I'll actually be deleting it to make things simpler. But I just wanted to show you the process of downloading it. Now, if we make our way to the downloads folder, I'm going to have to scroll down a bit because that's where mine is. You should be able to see whatever version of Town of Us that you installed. For me, it just so happens to be TOU underscore 221. And these should be the files that you see. Bepin X, Mono, Doorstep Config, Steam App ID, WinHttp. All you need to do to be able to play Town of Us is simply copy these files, go over to your Among Us file, game file, which I mentioned earlier is under Steam Apps Common Among Us, and all you need to do is paste the modded files into this specific folder. Now that you have this variant or version of Modded Among Us, you might want to load it up and test it out to make sure it works. After that, here is an important step. You're going to want to copy everything, like literally everything, in this folder now, and then create a new folder and just make a backup of all of these different uh, files. For example, I made mine, as I mentioned, in Backups, uh, Town of Us, and as you can see here, these are all of the files. They might not be, you know, named the exact same or have the exact same dates because I did this multiple times, but as you can see here, all of the required files are in here. Now let's say that you want to play Vanilla Among Us. Well, as I mentioned, the process is relatively simple. Just go into your game file folder and simply remove all of the ones that were imported from the mod. In this case, it just so happens to be all of the ones that were on a different date or time as opposed to all of the other ones. For example, Bepin, Mono, Doorstep Config, Steam App ID, and WinHttp all have to be the modded files because those are the ones that were on a different date. Now, as you can see, I have the default unmodded Among Us. Now let's say that you want to import other mods and play the other roles, for example. Alright, 
basically the same process. Just head on over to GitHub, the other roles, and then go to EIS Bison or AS Bison. Don't know how to pronounce it. And then simply just scroll down until you get to the latest version. Um, as of me recording this, that would be 2.8.1. And then simply just click download. After you download it, simply just go into your downloads folder and open up the other roles. And we're basically going to be doing the exact same thing. And in fact, the file names are pretty much the same with the addition of the other hats. So you're going to be having one extra file. As I mentioned, all you need to do is just copy all of these different files and put them into your Among Us file. In this instance, we will be copying 153 items. And once again, once that's all said and done, all you need to do is copy all of this and then simply paste it into another backup folder. In this instance, I have it right here. So you should have three backup files, basically. One for Vanilla Among Us, one for the other roles, and one for Town of Us. This should be relatively straightforward, but I hope that everybody understands exactly what I'm getting at so far. One important distinction. If you're going to be switching from the other roles to Town of Us, I highly recommend that you replace the game file folder with the vanilla version first, and then re-replace that with all of the mods. But for the most part, as long as you remove the appropriate folders, you shouldn't have any problem with, you know, switching from one mod to the other simply just by replacing the entirety of all of the files and copying it and pasting it into the game folders file. Last but not least, how do you play Polis.gg, aka Town of Polis? Well, this one's actually, thankfully, a lot more simple. All you need to do is go into the Steam Store library and simply type in Polis.gg and it'll be right there. All you need to do is click install now, and it'll basically act like its own game of sorts. It won't be, uh, you, won't, you're, you don't need to mess with game folders or game files or anything like that. It's basically just an extension of Among Us. It's a variant of Among Us, if that makes sense. Now keep in mind, if you wish to play the Town of Polis mod, aka polis.gg, you will be offered to make an account, and I'm not actually 100% sure if you need to make an account, but I would do so anyways, and then link that account with your Discord. If you wish to play polis.gg, all you need to do is simply head to your library and specifically look for polis.gg. Keep in mind, this is basically a variant, so it is going to be under its own folder if you're looking for your games. Once you click play on the Steam store, it will not take you to Among Us, but will instead take you to the Polis.gg launcher. Here, you're going to have to show your file location and, you know, paste it here. Uh, for me, because I have it in its default location, all I need to do is click auto detect and it'll automatically detect exactly where the, fo uh, the folder loca location is for Among Us. At this point, all you need to do is hit launch game and you should be able to play the Polis.gg mod relatively easy. One small thing I forgot to mention as well is that you can actually have the Town of Us or the, the other roles files in your Among Us folder and you can play Polis.gg. You don't have to, you know, get rid of the mods in your Among Us folder in order to play Polis.gg. So you can have the mods in there or you can have the vanilla version. So uh, that makes your life a little bit easier in that specific instance. But of course, when you're switching between the other roles and Town of Us, you do need to swap the files. I hope that clears up any confusion on how to install mods for Among Us and Town of Us, and how to play the Polis.gg Town of Polis variant of Among Us. If you have any questions, I will try to answer them in the comments, but this should be relatively straightforward. Thank you guys so much for watching, take care, and until next time, peace.